What's up, guys? It's Chris. Uh, welcome to BHB Engines. So, uh, one of those many times where we've talked about this, this topic a bunch of times, uh, especially even recently, because I've said uh, on both the projects that I'm, I'm putting together right now, 500 is the goal, and 500 on pump is the goal, because I don't like to do E85, because it's not widespread use, and I'm not doing race fuel. All right, I have to be able to drive my cars anywhere I want, whenever I want, for without having to worry about being in a special, uh, needing a special fuel or stopping at a specific gas station that might have E85 or any of those things. When we have E85 at the pump everywhere, then I'll start using it. Until then, not gonna happen, or at least not for the foreseeable future. Uh, so, uh, so like I said, uh, the fact that I've, I just answered the question pretty much, and I, that's the goal. My goals are 500 wheel horsepower cars, and I don't want, plan on doing on E85 or race fuel. So the question being, is 500 horsepower doable on pump? Yeah, it is. Um, it's, I guess it's a pretty important, uh, pretty important question for a lot of people. It was for me for a long time. Everybody told me I had to use E85 if I wanted 500 pump, uh, if e e E85 if I wanted 500 horsepower. Everybody was doing it like that. And I think it's just one of those things where everybody was just doing it, so everybody assumed that they had to. But uh, now we can't do this, can't do this anymore. At least not for the past year and change. Evans Evans tuning data, data database has been down for yeah, it's been that fucking long. That I guess they, they took it down to revamp it, and they just never did. So I don't know why they just didn't leave it the way it was. But that's that's the case. Anyway, they used to boast of the largest tuning database uh, on the internet, and I. I couldn't see any place else to, to argue with that. So uh, I used to fucking, when I found it, I used to pour over it. And until they took it down, I used to pour over it on a regular basis to go see, like, what people were doing to, you know, to hit certain numbers. Now, the the great thing about that is, like, yeah, you, you'll find a lot of E85 builds, but there are people who are making 500-plus um, on pump. And then, um, so I started watching Eddie's uh, uh, uploads that he was having on his Facebook and Instagram for um, for Genesis Automotive and his tuning, and he recently just did a, a K series. I think it was a, a stock K20 that made uh, n uh, 536 on on pump, and they stopped it because they wanted to keep the, the tune conservative. All right, so um, I know that my goals are easily achievable with the K, and I'm pretty fucking confident I'm going to make it on the B series as well. Now, as far as single cams and whatnot, uh, I, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to, but in, in, of course, it, you know, it's a lower, lesser displacement and a smaller engine you're dealing with, so it's going to probably take more effort, you know, bigger turbo, all that good stuff. Um, but you're going to need a, a big ass turbo anyway for the single cams, and, you know, if you're going to make any real power. Uh, and I would even argue against 500 horsepower uh, single cam builds. Uh, well, at least uh, at least not doing it on a budget. If you're gonna do 500 on a single cam, you need to use real pistons instead of the. Well, if you wanted to last long. So anyway, I'm getting getting sidetracked here because it was it's a basic question. It's an easy yes or no, and I gave you the yes, and uh, that's that's really all there is to it. It's, it's that simple, um, and it's I guess it, one of those things was a little frustrating because I've talked about it and I've talked about it a lot even recently. But I still see that there's people out there that watch the channel that haven't caught it. So I thought I would just make this to answer it a little bit more directly. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching and peace.